Null and undefined both signify the absence of a value in JavaScript. However, there's a slight difference between what they mean and how they behave. Undefined is the initial value that is assigned to all variables that have not been initialized yet. So for example, let name, when you try to print the value of name, it will print undefined. This is because you did not initialize name with any value yet. Let's take a look at another example. We have a function called logger that accepts one parameter called message and it prints the value of message inside of it. If you call this logger function without any arguments, then the value printed from this function will be undefined. Again, this is because you did not pass any value to logger. So the default value of message inside of the function becomes undefined. If a function does not return any value, then JavaScript automatically returns undefined in such cases. Another situation where undefined pops up is when you try to access a non-existent property on an object. So in this case, if you try to do person.age, it will print undefined. You can also assign undefined explicitly to a variable. Null, on the other hand, always needs to be explicitly assigned to a variable. This means that null will not occur in a JavaScript program unless you have explicitly assigned null to a variable. You can think that undefined is generally used to signify that something is uninitialized, whereas null is used to signify that something is intentionally empty or absent. Both null and undefined are falsy values. This means that they evaluate to false when converted to a boolean. Both null and undefined are primitive data types, but both of them are of different types. The type of undefined is undefined, but the type of null is object due to a historical mistake in JavaScript. Null and undefined are not strictly equal, it will print false, whereas null is loosely equal to undefined because both of them are falsy. 